one. Let's take a look at number five. They're asking us to do some division. Now you can do long division or synthetic division. I'm going to go ahead and use synthetic because that that denominator, it's got a lead coefficient of one. Right? Anytime I've got a binomial with a lead coefficient of one, I don't even have to do any initial algebra shenanigans. I can just go right into synthetic division. So if I'm doing that, I'm going to put minus two here because that's what would zero out my denominator, right? If x plus two is a factor, then negative two would be a zero. And let me put the coefficients of my numerator here. Now, take note that we skipped over a power, right? We went from x squared to seven, but there was no x term. So I am gonna need a placeholder of zero for the, the linear term. And it would have a coefficient of zero because it's missing. So we go one, negative one, zero for that placeholder, and then seven. And let's see how we how we do. So I'm going to bring the 1 down. All right, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. 0 plus 6 is 6. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And that makes my remainder negative 5. So how we start to piece this together is if I started with a cubic over here, then my quotient is going to start with uh, a squared term. So this is going to be x squared minus 3x plus 6 minus 5 over x plus 2. And that's my remainder. And let's see which one that matches up with. That is matching up with C. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.